Hello, hello, hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is the block state management and particularly about how to do testing in our block. So what I have here is, uh, is a simple application over here. Uh, it's a calculator application. Uh, you can now enter two numbers, 10 and 20, and you click on the particular buttons and extract the result will be there. So let's check out the code now. Uh, let's go uh, in our lib folder. I have a calculator folder that is the entire code is over here Our view is in view folder and all the repository or I should say the exact operations are in the operation repository or the data layer And we have block. Let's go to the data layer first and in the data layer. Here's a small operation how to do add Difference product and division, right? It's quite simple. Let's go to the block in the block we have the counter block just before going to the block let's go to the events so we uh, uh, as per our view we could have four events like add button is tapped subtract multiply and divide so whenever these buttons are pressed they will give two operands both are int of integer and upon tab upon tab will be handle over here so on the state we have two states three states initial on successful we will have a double of result okay on the failure we have a failure message okay and on the block we are handling those four events as you can see over here on add button tapped on subtract multiply and division right first of all on initial we will only transfer the result okay so whenever add button is pressed it goes over this private method where it will find the sum using the operation repository that we have looked earlier and it will get the result in the sum then it will emit the calculated result successful convert the sum to double as its states right state or should i should say property and subtract the same thing on multiply same thing on division on same thing only difference is we are not using to double over here since the result of a division is always a double so if you look into our view it's a simple page calculator is a calculator is a stateless widget has a scaffold has a app bar on its center it has a size box that takes in width and height of 60 percentage of the available screen main access alignment as center and we have used block builder so the block builder over here looks for the state of the calculator block so if a uh, result fa failure then we will display the message over here state dot message if it's successful we will display the state dot result to string since the successful result are mostly a number and we are converting number back to the string okay or on any other case we will simply display result as you can see over here this is the result it will display the result in Texas on the second row that is the these two text fields here we have two expanded widget both has padding and text field both the text field has their own key as you can see over here first key first operand and second one. this key will be useful while testing the widget testing while doing the widget test and the third row that is the buttons we have four buttons those are all our material buttons all have similar features i could have moved to another method but currently it's, it is at a series for uh, simplicity okay so on button press we are calling the block provider off on calculator block and adding the event as per the buttons right so if it's a plus we'll call the add button tapped event if it's a subtract we'll call the subtract button event based on that we are getting the text from using the controller okay first controller and second controller specific to the text field so whenever this event occurs this builder will call again and based on the results it will display the output over here okay now that we have done it let's look into the test so uh, before that let's go to main application once in the main application we have material app theme data here we are providing the calculator block to our calculator page all right this is the changes you need to do let's go to the test folder now so in the test folder we have a calculator folder as per the lib directory and on the data 
we have a repository and on the repository we have a operation repository trace it's a simple unit testing over here uh, since this is not related to block there's a simple unit testing and that has been applied so group group tests right this are simple unit if you don't know about unit testing you can check out my previous video link will be somewhere in that video okay then uh, let's go to the block now let's see how we are implementing the block tests so this is our block test as per the block we have a calculator block so calculator block needs the testing so we'll use calculator block underscore test so before doing that before telling you about this let's check out the dependency here because for this scenario we are doing particular uh, dev dependency if you go to the dev dependency we are using a block test and for the implementation of block in our application as a state management we need flutter block on the dependencies and block test on the dev dependency all right so on the calculator block or uh, calculator block underscore test we'll start by group what we are doing is the calculator block testing and we gotta create a calculator block since this block will be used in the each of the events uh, so we'll create once so that we don't have to call that block again and again so we'll create a calculator block calculator block requires operation repository and operation repository we can give it at its head. since we have not communicating with the third party libraries and stuff so I can give a repository directly like this otherwise I have to mock apply mock so talk, uh, I'll make a video about mock and somewhere in the future so first test is the initial test so what happens when the block is open right block starts or block is loaded so we'll get a calculator initial state with the text result right so we'll expect a calculator block dot state that is equivalent to this one all right so how we are checking the whether these two are equal or not so here we can see the calculator initial calculator state has a result that is equitable right so equitable is one of the important packages you need to add as well so you can see over here we are adding the equitable so let's go to calculator block once again once the initial test is done now we have to check for the events right so you there in the block test there's a simple method called block test that takes in the counter block and counter state and we can write the description of the test uh, it will emit a 10.0 counter calculator su uh, result successful when but uh, at add button uh, i made a small mistake over here when add button is tapped with first operand as 5 and second operand as 5 so 5 plus 5 is 10 and double of 10 is 10.0 right so on the build we'll call what uh, which block we're going to be using so we're going to be using the cal uh, calculator block act what kind of action do you want to apply on that block so we'll say block on that block can you please add the event called add button tapped 5 comma 5 and expectation is calculator result successful 10.0 similar to subtraction we are testing calculator results successful 0.0, .0 when subtract button is pressed with the first operand is 5 and second operand is 5 so same thing build with the counter block cal uh, calculator block since we are we are not making a class over here we are simply referencing the something that is already built in this file okay and we're gonna add subtract button so it's uh, entire same thing so if you go on the test folder once again on the views we have calculator page test mm -hmm. this is a widget test and widget test if you don't know about the widget test then you can check out my previous video the link will be somewhere on the video and in here what we need to do is we're gonna call the test uh, test widgets class and uh, i mean test widget method or i should say function here we are uh, creating the pumping the widget means bringing the widget to the front of the screen here we are providing the counter block uh, i mean calculator block to our calculator page once this loaded we are checking whether there's a result text is displayed or not with whether there are four buttons or four tags or not whether there are two fields or not so whenever you enter uh, uh, enter text of uh, whether the uh, text field is working or not by entering a text over here then we're going to be testing whether the plus button works or not minus button you can apply the test for test over here so that is it guys uh, 
if you are uh, that is the, that is it yeah the source code will be down in the description uh, if you have any question please leave down in the comment section and if you like the video please give it a like and if you think someone could uh, benefit from this video kindly do share this video thank you so much for watching see you guys next time